Um, it was a great experiment and teams really did learn um, that uh, their dogs, you know, have good engagement, which actually brings up another point that the, the main selling point of toys is it creates engagement. And yes, toys are great for in, uh, creating engagement with dogs that love toys. Um, but then, you know, I was, I was watching these videos of um, Puppy Dakota at eight weeks, nine weeks, 12 and 15 weeks as part of the Mark training course, because I'm editing that for Clean Run. And I looked and I went, well, this is engagement. It doesn't look like the kind of engagement people think of, right? That kind of, you know, like high arousal, like push the dog away, you know, all that kind of interactive human centric engagement that's very much about us. Um, but it's engagement that Dakota as a tiny puppy was staying on his mark while I'm feeding Jake and Lil and Jake and Lil are moving from mark to mark and he's watching Jake wanting to leave but staying engaged in the process, staying engaged with me. So it is a different type of engagement that I think I didn't even think of as engagement. I thought of it as impulse control, enthusiasm, and impulse control, but engagement is it as well. It is engagement. And so I think that's probably the, uh, the reason um, that people who dabble in mark training um, maybe don't stick with it is because they don't see it as engagement. They just see it as their dog performing a task on a prop. So one more obstacle, one more behavior. Um, and there is nothing I can do um, about that, that people do what people do. So, and there are many ways to get to the end point, right? Okay, Meredith's writing, the difference in using a mark bucket for Jordy versus how I've trained previous dogs has made such a difference in how he learns. You know, that is exactly it. It changes the mindset of the dog. It is thoughtful enthusiasm. It's thoughtful drive. Um, but you have to do it with your dog and get your dog mark trained at a high enough level that the dog is bringing that enthusiasm that then necessitates they bring up their level of impulse control, which creates internal like kind of um, pressure for the dog, which increases their enthusiasm, which increases their impulse control. And all of that stuff is the dog is, is, you know, I want to do that, but I'm doing this, but I'm going to get to do that, but I'm doing this. It's, it's exactly that. And when you get to the point like Meredith and Jordy are at where you can then reward your dog with a toy because the mark training is solid enough, now you can use the benefits of toys with the benefits of mark training, keeping a close eye to make sure that the toy isn't having a negative influence on your dog's mental state. It should be adding enthusiasm, but it should not be um, it replacing enthusiasm with over arousal or um, frustration or anxiety, stuff like that. Um, Maris, I'm certainly not doing things in class the way other people are doing the same exercises. And isn't that a brave thing to do? I know one of the instructors at Marin Humane, she brought out a mark bucket at a seminar with a very um, high level instructor. And uh, she just used it. She had no self-consciousness about it. And she just used it and her dog benefited. And other people I know who do mark training because they learned it from me, they didn't do it. And they had dogs that, you know, were breaking the start line and um, or, you know, like running around jumps to get to toys. They were doing like typical young dog things and a mark bucket would have fixed it. But um, they weren't willing to bring out the weird thing and a, a training, you know, mech, um, technique that um, might not get approval from the instructor. And I totally get that. Um, I was like, we were all sneaking around the parking lot with mark buckets, um, you know, warming up their dogs like behind cars because, you know, I didn't want to be seen with like contraband <laughs> prop either. So I, anyway, so bravo for you. And I know based on previous posts that your instructor is receptive to a mark bucket. So Yay for that. Not everybody is. Some people look at it and they're like, oh, I know all about that. But you know what? They don't. And on the topic of, um, let me just, let's see, let me do one more thing with um, Meredith, read another comment. Jordy now lines up without the mark bucket as, he, as if he were actually on the mark bucket. Yes. And people go, well, how do you fade the mark bucket? You can't bring a mark bucket to the start line. I'm like, you fade it like anything else. What the dog is learning is that their front feet have a tactile experience of being on a surface 
And if they move from that, that's an oopsie. So the, the mark bucket gives them tactile feedback, feedback loop from the brain going, front feet, yes, my feet are staying right where they should be staying. And a dog in a sit um, or a stand, that the front feet is really what they're in tune with. They're not thinking rear feet anyway. Um, so, so yeah, that you just transfer that to the grass. The dog is now going, I feel my feet on a surface. They're not moving. I'm being a good boy. Same thing. There is no fading of the mark bucket. It is just a natural transfer. And uh, Meredith's saying, I was very self-conscious the first time I used the mark bucket in class, but now everyone, including the instructor, are impressed with how it works for him. Well, just let them know, Jordy is not unique. It works for all dogs. I have never met a dog that mark training um, doesn't work for. Um, you know, there's some dogs that, that food doesn't work so well for. There are some dogs that toys don't work so well for. Um, I've never seen a dog that doesn't benefit from mark training. So... They might be, you know, having this idea that, oh, mark training is great for little terriers who, um, you know, can lose focus, but they've never seen it with, you know, high dry border collies who go, you know, bonkers, who get grounded and centered um, on a mark bucket or, you know, a nervous, anxious dog that, that learns to feel more confident.